in the beginning. There was nothing. Nothing but the silence of an infinite darkness. But the breath of the Creator fluttered against the face of the void, whispering, Let there be light. And light was. And it was good. The first day. And then the formless light began to take on substance and shape. The second day. And our world was born. Our beautiful, fragile home. And a great warming light nurtured its days. And a lesser light ruled the nights. And there was evening. And morning. Another day. And the waters of the world gathered together. And in their midst, emerged dry land. Another day passed. And the ground put forth the growing things. A thick blanket of green stretching across all creation. And the waters, too, teemed with life. Great creatures of the deep that are no more. Vast multitudes of fish, some of which may still swim beneath these seas. And soon, the sky was streaming with birds. And there was evening. And there was morning. A fifth day. Now the whole world was full of living beings. Everything that creeps, everything that crawls, and every beast that walks upon the ground. And it was good. It was all good. There was light and air and water and soil, all clean and unspoiled. Your plants and fish and fowl and beast, each after their own kind, all part of the greater whole, all in their place, and all was in balance, it was paradise, the jewel in the Creator's palm. And the Creator made man, and by his side woman, father and mother of us all. He gave them a choice. Follow the temptation of darkness, or hold on to the blessing of light. But they ate from the forbidden fruit. Their innocence was extinguished. And so for the ten generations since Adam's sin has walked within us. Brother against brother. Nation against nation. Man against creation. We murdered each other. We broke the world. We did this. Man did this. Everything that was beautiful. Everything that was good. We shattered. Now. It begins again.